Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So in this video today, we have a special collaboration and it's called Go Red for Heart Health Awareness Month 2022. Now the host of this collab is Event Decor and Designs by Leisha. Now I'm going to be linking the host and the playlist down in the description box below. I'm also going to be linking the channel link. And make sure for watch the videos, subscribe to our channels, and then head on over to that playlist to see what we all have to say on health awareness for the heart. So I'm going to be making a couple of DIYs with items that I purchased mostly from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope that you love the video. I hope you stay and subscribe. Uh, click that like button and click that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. And comment below because I would love to hear from you. And I do want to take a moment and thank my subscribers for being faithful, uh, those that are older, and I want to welcome those that are new. So let's jump right into the video, guys. I really appreciate you. Okay, so what you see me doing here, because we just jumped into the video, is I had pre-textured a piece of wood that I purchased from the Dollar Tree with some spackle. And now what I'm doing here, and I also added color. So we are sealing that in with Mod Podge and we're going to put that over to the side and move on to project number two. Now this is one of the little vases that looks like a little mini craft. I purchased that at the Dollar Tree along with this tissue paper in white and gold which I absolutely loved. Um, and we are going to decoupage that tissue paper onto that vase and that's what I'm doing here. That's applying the tissue paper along with Mod Podge and then resealing that in and it gives it a beautiful, beautiful uh, textured look. Now always remember when you're applying Mod Podge and whatever it is you're putting Mod Podge on, you want to allow it to completely dry before you move on to the next step. I think this is really important. So what I did here is apply the Mod Podge, the tissue paper, and then Mod Podge on top of that to seal that in and allowed it to fully dry before I gave it a second coat. So because of the shape of the vase, it was easier to apply this tissue paper with in strips. So I went ahead and I did that. I cut it in strips. So you're applying Mod Podge, placing a strip, and you're going to do that all the way around the vase and then go ahead and give it the uh, last coat of Mod Podge and let it sit and fully dry.
Now when I was sealing the vase, I did add glitter to the Mod Podge. So the leftover, I went ahead and pulled that heart back and we're sealing not only the painting, but the spackle onto that heart. And this is gonna give it a glossy look. This is gonna come out absolutely beautiful. Now we're moving on to the next project. So now I have these two hearts that I used last year for Valentine's Day. And then I grabbed some of this paper that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. It has a sticky adhesive back. This is almost like the Cricut paper, okay? So, and it's in gold. So I decided to go ahead and cut the shapes of this. Instead of painting it, we're gonna stick this paper on top of the hearts. So what I would like to mention is that it's very important to have ourselves checked, not only with having physicals, but specific things like check, having our breasts checked and just doing other things that we do once a year. But one of the things we should have checked, um, especially when we reach a certain age or we're feeling short of breath, is we really should go and have our heart checked just to make sure everything's functioning properly. I watched my grandmother go through heart disease all my life, and then at the end she passed away. And like I said, um, pre, you know, often checkups are just checkups, you know, making sure everything is okay, and like we do everything else. I think it's really important, and so. Uh, heart awareness is definitely something that we need to spread.
So we're doing everything hearts, including that little vase that we just did. And this candle here in the heart shape is something that I did um, and I lost the clip. But I didn't want to go without showing it to you because I think it came out absolutely beautiful. It looks just like the decoupage I did on the vase and it's a candle. I used two Dollar Tree candles and I heated them up so they melted, took the wax out and the wicks. So we recycled everything. And then at the very end, we let that wax sit until it cooled off enough for me to sprinkle the gold glitter on top. And I think this candle came out absolutely gorgeous. Now, when that original wooden heart was dry, I wanted to add something, something to it. And these flowers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, these open roses and the lavender, I thought would be perfect. So I added that as a special touch. Now here, I had an extra strip of the silver bling wrap, so I thought I cut out a strip and uh, put it in the back of this heart as a hanger. I am absolutely happy on how these pieces came out. Look at this textured heart. I love it. This is definitely something I'll be doing again in a different project. So all of the pieces came out absolutely beautiful. And here's the decoupage vase. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. And the candle to match. And then we have those two hearts. Um, I call them conversation hearts on the side. And we give them a little vintage look. And these pieces came out absolutely beautiful. Let's head on over to the reveal. So I do hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed creating it. So if you liked the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Make sure and spread heart awareness to everyone you know and love. And head on over to that playlist. I'll see you in the next one.